Hey, welcome to the Gadget Inspector channel. I'm glad you're here. Today I'm showing you an inexpensive accessory for microphones you might have set up on your desktop. The only problem I have with desktop mics is I never seem to be able to get close enough. They just seem too far away to get the best audio. And the further away you are from the mic, the more reverb you're gonna pick up, especially in a room like what I'm in right now that has absolutely no sound treatment. So we're gonna check out this desktop mic stand by InnoGear. It's the next best thing to having a boom arm. It comes with a 5 8 inch male to 3 8 inch female adapter, so it should accommodate pretty much any microphone like the Blue Yeti or Snowball or the microphone I'm going to be testing this out on today. The Fine Find K638A USB microphone. I actually did a full review on that microphone, so if you're interested, check the description box below for a link or up above me here for a card that's going to pop up. All right, y'all, let's go ahead and get on into this. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's dash. The mic stand comes with a mic clip for mics like this. And as I mentioned earlier, you also get an adapter which will accommodate for mounting a variety of microphones. The stand is metal, but the knobs and tighteners are plastic. But this thing feels sturdy. The base weighs almost two pounds, so it shouldn't move when you put it down. Okay, so the mic I'm using when mounted on the included tripod ends up being about 16 inches from my mouth. That's too far, y'all. General rule of thumb from the research I've done is to use the tip of your thumb to the tip of your pinky as a guide for distance. That's about six inches and I think it's the sweet spot for getting the best sound. So mounting your mic to the stand is easy and takes about a minute to do. Just screw on the adapter and screw on the mic. You can adjust the height of the stand from 10.6 inches up to 15.4 inches. So that gives you some flexibility to set it where it's most comfortable for you. Now at 10.6 inches, the mic ends up being about 10 inches from my mouth, but I ended up raising it to 12 inches and that allows me to get that pinky thumb rule in effect. Okay, I'm going to give you some audio samples here so you can get an idea of how the mic sounds closer to your mouth. I like mine right about here. So this is with the height of the mic stand uh, at about a foot tall. It goes all the way up to 15.4 inches, but I like it here because it's still close to my mouth, but it's out of the way and not blocking my face completely, you know? So you can see what that looks like, right? Okay, so we're reading a sample from a short story I read in school called the Metamorphosis by Frank Kafka. Now, some of y'all know this story and probably read it in school too. Spoiler alert, the guy turns into a cockroach. <laughs> All right, let me know in the comments if you read The Metamorphosis in school. Okay, I'm just gonna read the first paragraph here. One morning, as Gregor Samsa was waking up from anxious dreams, he discovered that in bed he had changed into a monstrous verminous bug. He lay on his armor hard back and saw, as he lifted his head up a little, his brown arched abdomen divided up into rigid bow-like sections. From this height, the blanket, just about ready to slide off completely, could hardly stay in place. His numerous legs, pitifully thin in comparison to the rest of his circumference, flickered helplessly before his eyes. What's happened to me, he thought. It was no dream. His room, a proper room for a human being, only somewhat too small, lay quietly between the four well-known walls. Above the table on which an unpacked collection of sample cloth goods was spread out, Samson was a traveling salesman, hung the picture which he had cut out of an illustrated magazine a little while ago, and set in a pretty gilt frame. It was a picture of a woman with a fur hat and a fur boa. She sat erect there lifting up in the direction of the viewer a solid fur muff into which her entire forearm disappeared. Okay, so as you can see, I have the mic mounted on the original tripod that comes with it. Uh, so you can definitely see the height difference. And the one thing you might be hearing, you might be hearing a little more reverb. So uh, I think I may have mentioned this earlier that the closer you are to the mic, the less reverb you're gonna get. None of my walls are treated. 
Um, this room is very echoey. There's a lot of reverb in here. Uh, there is carpet on the floor, but I don't have any sound treatment in here at all. So you're likely noticing a different sound because of where the mic is positioned uh, in comparison to with the Inogear. Uh, microphone okay so again the closer you can get the mic to your mouth the better okay so as you can see I have the mic back in my preferred configuration on the Inno gear mic stand and basically what I did in this video is I just pimped your fine fine USB mic with this inexpensive budget-friendly accessory by Inno gear 15 bucks I think is all it is out there on Amazon if you're interested check the description box down below. Now I didn't make any adjustments to the audio other than raising the levels equally for the mic when it was on the tripod and the mic when it was on the Inno gear stand. So let me know if you heard the difference. Well, once again, thanks for watching. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to check out my full review on the Fine Fine K638A USB microphone. It's a pretty good one. So check it out if you're interested. And as always, be good to somebody, be good to yourself. I'll see you in the next one. Later, y'all.